Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video has been quite challenging to film because my daughter is sick again and she spent last night just fever all night, uh, the night before that, and the night before that she's just been coughing all night. It's It's been a struggle and she has given it to my husband and I, so here we are, here we are. Okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to, to do, I, ugh, I can't even talk. I wanted to do a review on the new Westman Atelier lipstick. This is the packaging if, for those of you who didn't catch my shorts. I picked up one color just because these are pricey and I didn't know if I was gonna like the formula. So I went ahead and I just purchased one and um, if I liked it, I would just, purchased the other colors I was interested, which is, I think it's called Jerive and Rue. Those are the other two colors I have my eye on, but I'm glad I went with Peak because it kind of, I felt like for my particular skin tone, this is what was gonna work best. So here is the vessel. It is the exact same, you know, aesthetic as her sticks uh so let me go ahead and give you a size comparison so here is her baby cheeks full size uh stick and the lipstick is just like i would say half an inch shorter you can see that just like half an inch shorter and let me put this side by side so you guys can see that you can barely see it, but this is uh, much smaller in diameter. So here you go. And in comparison to her foundation stick, it's much shorter than that. Um, diameter wise, it's the same as the baby cheeks. Now for size reference, the baby cheeks and the foundation stick are the exact same diameter. So there's no change there. The only thing that changes is the length, okay? Now, I have a mini. So she, Westman Atelier has now has a whole like line of minis. They have their mini contour sticks, they have their mini blush sticks, and they have, they have their mini highlighting stick. This is a highlighting stick in the color Lit. I actually got this uh, during a Sephora sale. And these two are the exact same diameter. So here you go. So if you have a mini, just imagine that the lipstick is gonna be this size but longer. And so as you can see, it is taller. And the lipstick, like everything else in her line, the top is magnetic. It does have the Westman Atelier logo on the top, like the rest of the line. And the vessel itself pops out, it's magnetic. And on the bottom you have like this honeycomb thing and then it has that like screw. See, cause there's, it's like a screwdriver kind of effect. So you would not be able to turn this vessel, like if you were to just buy the refills, which aren't available yet, but I'm sure they will be. If you just bought the refill, unless you have something that's just like this honeycomb shape, you wouldn't be able to turn this. So you actually do need the case. I love that it's magnetic. <laughs> and it is, the, the packaging is stunning. But you know, the one thing I thought to myself was, that looks kind of bulky, you know? And it is. I mean, the only, I think the, oh, the only thing in her line that's not magnetic are actually her minis. So this is a mini uh, highlighting stick. And as you can see, the top doesn't have that gold rim. It does have the heart in there, but this is not magnetic. This is just normal. <laughs> 
but the lipstick is magnetic now let me show you the bullet before i start talking about the formula i mean it is stunning look at the hearts the hearts are embossed all around the stick and you do have the gold accents on the top and the rim of the actual lipstick now I know that there was some kind of concern people were commenting that they weren't sure if this diameter would be comfortable to like have like wide enough to have your fingers fit in there and turn the bullet without like ruining the bullet I don't seem to have a problem I find it comfortable to turn uh, I do like that when you turn it down, the bullet sinks all the way to the bottom because that makes it really easy to protect the bullet when you are taking the vessel in and out of here to replace with another lipstick or whatnot. The actual vessel and how it feels in your hand, it is metal and weighty just like the baby cheeks and the foundation stick. Um, it feels luxurious it feels like you bought a westman atelier product that you know it is it is what it is she paid attention to detail as she usually does it is a beautiful vessel however for a lipstick i feel like it is it's bulky uh, it doesn't feel <laughs> uh, i wouldn't say that it's, it feels uncomfortable in the hand that I'm not that would be dramatic uh, I just feel like we are used to a more thinner lipstick case than this and so that's all it is it's just different but it doesn't feel uncomfortable uh, I would say that if you're a person that's into very mini bags like those micro mini bags yeah this you would probably have to go with another lipstick because this would be just a little too bulky to fit into something like that you would probably have to go with kind of like a maybe a regular size lipstick you know in diameter um but other than that i think that it's really nice i, I love the color that she chose it's the same exact color as her le nudes compact this is the first lipstick of the line the only thing that she has are lip suede which look like this this is a lip palette it is also magnetic and this is the uh le nudes one and i have made quite the dent in this but as you can see, they are the exact same color. Now, this is supposed to be like a moisturizing, hydrating, matte finish. I have tried this several different ways. I do not find this drying on the lips despite the fact that it is matte let me and i am gonna swatch this for you guys in the back of my hand while i'm talking about it this is the color again i'm wearing it on my lips the pigmentation on this is really strong it reminds me of the pat mcgrath lipsticks in pigmentation uh i find it pretty difficult to get just a wash of color with this because that pigment is a very very strong and it lasts a very long time like this goes on very buttery very creamy and i remember like i remember feeling that the first time i swiped it on my lips i was like is this gonna set because this feels really buttery and it does it sets after like a couple of seconds you um start to feel that it's not as wet is the best way that i can describe it it sets and once it sets down you do get a comfortable matte finish i don't find that it clings to dry spots i did not exfoliate my lips i also on the website it says to apply some of her balm like her little squeaky clean balms under and then apply this on top to create more of a, a matte 
uh, more of a moisture finish on the lips. I don't find that I have to do that. Um, and I feel like if I had to do that to use this, that would have been a no-go for me. I don't like to cross-contaminate <laughs> my products, uh, especially when it comes to matte lipsticks. Now, I find it very comfortable on the lips. Even when I eat and I drink, when this color starts to wear off, it almost leaves like a stain on the lips. Like it wears really nicely off the lips. You don't get like patchiness, you know, how you usually do with lipsticks after you eat and stuff. And it, it does remind me a lot of her uh, lip palette, which is one of the things I love is you wear it and you can eat and drink, but it starts to leave like this almost like stain on the lips and you don't it's never patchy so i do love that about this formula another thing i want to mention is it matters where you live so for example my climate i live in florida it is very humid it is very hot and it has been for quite some time when i first received this in the mail it was cold so i was able to wear this like what what i would say in the winter here but at the end of the day florida is the sunshine state our our cold weather here is never going to compare to other states it is not as dry here and that's just the way that it is so in my current climate I find this to be a very comfortable formula. I also have combination to oily skin. So although I have dry lips, I find that my skin in general just isn't as dry as somebody with dry skin living in a state where it is dry and cold. It's, it's a little bit different. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. I this worked out for me I liked it I like the way that it's worn it doesn't bleed it doesn't accumulate in the corners of your lips it also doesn't create like a, a film on the lip you know how sometimes matte formulas when you wear them after some time it starts to create like a crust like on the inner 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 portion of the upper and bottom lip this doesn't do that so i was a very pleasantly surprised with this formula because at the end of the day a matte lipstick is a matte lipstick like <laughs> you you either are gonna love it or you're gonna hate it and in order for it to be matte there has to be some kind of um setting or uh, dry down to it you know in order to get the matte effect and I think what she was going for is the matte finish without the dryness and I think she did a good job at achieving it I personally liked this formula I know that there I, I just don't I just don't want to speak for those who have very dry skin and live in a different part of the world I think that you should definitely not blind buy this product I think that you should go into a retailer near you that carries this lipstick which by the way this is going to be uh, going to Sephora I believe March the 28th if I'm not mistaken uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's when they are dropping at Sephora. If you're able to snag one of these during the Sephora sale and you get 20% off, try them. Uh, because the uh, Sephora savings events actually starts April the 5th. So that would be a good time to pick at least one shade. Now my concern, which I think is everybody else's concern, is this is refillable. And you all know we all have PTSD with the fact that a lot of her products that are refillable don't have refills available to buy. Like the, I think the only product that has a refill available to buy is this and this like launched last year, the refill for this. Okay. Cause this compact has been out forever. Okay. And her serum, her serum, you can buy the refills. Other than that, like we don't have 
refills for the powders and everybody's been asking for that. My concern is that we are not going to see refills for these lipsticks for years. For years. That's my concern. Leave me a comment down below if you feel the same. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you my two cents on it. I think the formula is good. I liked it. It wears really nicely. I love the undertones she chose. There's not a lot of shades. Uh, and I think that the shades that she did choose, she put a lot of thought into that undertone, taking into consideration the variety of skin tones. So, I love this shade and I'm definitely going to be picking up more during the Sephora, uh, Sephora Spring Savings event and I will be doing like a swatch party. I also will be doing a comparison of this formula and the new Merit uh, matte formula and compare those two and do like swatches and stuff like that. I just want to be able to use this just a little bit longer and pick up a couple of more shades because when I do a comprehensive review where I compare two different brands, I, I like to have more than one shade available just because different brands have a different approach to the undertones of lipsticks, undertones of nudes, undertones of rosy shades, undertones of browns, undertones of reds, etc. You get it. So I kind of want to do a little uh, comparison video and I think you guys would be interested in that. Uh, but that will be coming up soon. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.